Ultrasound, Ghost Touch, Light Mace. Not, not willing to spend 50k on it though. scrolls I am a library logic behind nature checks on the map traveling outside is that it's, it's used to avoid terrain that is difficult to travel so nature lore successes means tracker find better easier routes okay I like that someone someone is on the road I'll ask you a question. The second question is more complex, and therefore the answer will be more difficult. I'll share a memory with you, and you must tell me what you see. For a moment, the world around you ceases to exist. Instead, you find yourself surrounded by a thin, delicate mist. A green light ripples through the mist, illuminating the silhouettes of people, buildings, tall hills, ocean waves, animals, and trees. You see them briefly as they take shape, but they vanish almost as quickly as they appear. But there is something else with you in the mist. Something that doesn't disappear, menacing, elongated shadows rush towards you from all sides. And then the vision fades. The image is flickering out of its existence. The answer is simple. The vision showed to you showed you the eth eth ethereal plane. You saw astro demons hunting down souls that were trying to reach Phrasma's court. You saw astro demons stealing souls from the, in the ethereal plane. All it takes is a, a little knowledge to begin your journey. By answering this question correctly, you have taken the next step towards acquiring great knowledge. The legacy of ancients is now open to you. Solve its riddle, and you can continue forward. The secrets of creation will be revealed to the one most worthy. Do not give up your search. Greater reach meta magic rod. Anything I can do to help you? I'll remain bound to the heart of mystery until someone solves its secret. When that happens, I will be given my freedom. And I can rest in peace. But so far, no one has been able to accomplish such a feat. And there are many who have tried. So many. Okay. Anything around here? Maybe we can find tiles for the other puzzles we haven't found tiles for. <clears throat> yeah, the tiles are a pain in the ass to find. Without a doubt. Here we go. Single skeleton there. Oh, 
Where are you? I can handle it. Let's get the reagents. What the hell? Can armies teleport through cities? I've already I've already got the party teleport, but Rank eight. Mm -hmm. Get some rest, Mafia.
them in and out them in Let's give this a shot. Flyers. They hit hard. I don't have a lot of defense though. We got this. I say that. I don't even remember what those units were there. We should make a third army. Try to consolidate some of these.
trying to get them to get be over at the main army. Church guards out, put the paladins in. Okay. Let's camp here. We'll go with that. <clears throat> Quick save. Journey take less than an hour. Yes. Nobody takes my ember. Are we in trouble yet? Are we not in trouble? Johnny Savitur. Johnny Savitur. Johnny Savitur. Oh, Adayan. Um, and that'll be it for now. The struggles never cease. No reason to pause. Should I? Yeah, and I forgot to do spell books. Can't make the demons wait. big boys the altar of Baphomet has been de desecrated we'll clean it with the blood of the traitors oh. where's ember Is that ember it looks like ember we won't give her to anyone not to you or the demons please don't fight you're all kind people we don't need to hurt each other. Baphomet demands blood. Spare no one. Traitors and faithful alike will be sacrificed to our lord. Looks like the girl is right. If we want to survive, we'll have to fight together. Endure this! Seely, you're so slow. The inheritor, guide my blade. Ah, go on, go on.
Yes, they are big. Very, very big. They hit hard. Desna, guide my hand. Oh, great. And Amber's going to rush into melee because she's being controlled by AI right now. Fantastic. Make every strike count. 113 crit. Okay, bud. Into the fray. You're in my way. You had your chance. Simply business. All right, you were not so far away that I could not attack you. Are you still here? Victory is the pain. that off. Jesus, Ember. And she's down. Gremlin's down. Jesus. You've crossed the wrong line. Peace. It's almost dead. Come on. Getting my and I'm dead. Withdraw. Now we're going to do that just for speed. You know what I you're feel doing. like the chosen one. Good. Do 
need to remember to do our summons. I'm all ears. Oh, skip the pleasantries. Please, allow me. No reason to pause. Okay. I think approaching from this side, we don't need to worry about Sila's speed. She should be able to charge from this distance. Take out the axe thrower. You've crossed the wrong Good hit. Simply business. Amber, no girl. I will resist. Shitty rolls. Blinded now, so that's good. Oh no, he did. That's good. It's your time to cease to. One is blinded. You're in my way. 
You attacked the wrong one, though, bro. Beautiful. Gotta love those outflanks. You won't survive me. Here we go. We are guilty of treason and we repent. We beg for your mercy. Don't listen to her, Commander. Repentance? She is ready to give this girl to the demons until she realized there would be no mercy from them. We're all traitors and murderers here. Henchmen of Baphomet and soldiers in Thaskarod's army. You better kill all of us on the spot. Don't say that. You protected me, didn't you? Maybe you wanted to do something bad, but then you changed your mind, didn't you? The elf girl looks at you with her large, shiny eyes. Please don't punish them too harshly. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. They were just deceived by the demons. Are you alright? Yes, just a little scared. The kind knights protected me, and then you came. They were doing a shit job at protecting you. You need constant watching, kiddo. <laughs> but then she heaves a sigh of relief. Now that she knows Ember's all right. Tell us what happened. Some of the locals had gathered so we could all pray together. Then those knights came and started fighting. And they killed lots of people. Then they took me here and put me on the altar. I asked them not to hurt me. Then they started arguing amongst themselves. Some said they had to sacrifice me, and others wanted to protect me. I was so sad they were arguing. I tried to make them friends again, but they just yelled more and swung their swords. Then I cried because I didn't want anyone else to die. My tears fell on the altar, and then smoke came out of it, and the altar split in half. And all the knights screamed, and demons came from outside and yelled that I had insulted Baphomet. That I didn't want, but I didn't want to hurt anyone, I swear. I just wanted everyone to be friends again. Of course, you'll have to apologize to Baphomet for the broken altar. Damn it, no, not even I can joke about this. Damn. Amber, honestly, not everyone deserves an apology, no matter how much you've hurt them. Wow, an actually sincere moment from Darren. Or Darren. It's amazing the way everyone feels the sharp edge of your tongue, but you almost never turn your poison on Ember. Is there a tiny flicker of a conscience in the Count's soul? You're missing the main point of net needling anyone to enrage them and to force them to respond to your jokes. So he's a troll. He's an internet troll. You and Lan are such good friends. I'm always happy when you two talk. You see now? Did you really say prayers for the demon lords? Yes, I think demon lords are the most miserable creatures in the world. Being evil is sad and painful, and it means that the evilest ones must be the saddest of all. Happy people don't start wars and don't bring terrible calamities down on others. So I thought if they heard our prayers, then maybe they would change their minds and wouldn't be evil anymore. Oh, Emperor. Yep, that's about all I have to say too. Oh, Emperor. Hmm. Persuading a demon lord to see the error of their ways, do you really think it's possible? I believe there's at least a little good in everyone, and everyone, even the most horrible sinner, can change if they really want to. Which of these knights protected you? All of them. Please don't punish anyone. You see they repented. We have, I swear. 
Don't believe the repentance of a cultist commander. We're all traitors and liars. Why are you defending them? They killed your congregation and abducted you. Yes, they've killed many good people. But will killing them make anything better? Please don't kill them. You see they repented. I know it's not a harsh, not harsh law that guides your judgment, but your heart. Please find a little mercy for them. I hope for your mercy. I hope you'll punish us with the full force of the law. I must say, I do admire these folk. They sell themselves to the demons and just easily turn against their chosen idol. I'm certain that if we leave them now and have a picnic, a picnic on a hill nearby, a happen upon a new foolish idea or a new master before we finish our sandwiches. Please be kinder. You think you can reform them? Fine. I believe in you. Let them be your congregation. I won't punish them. Commander, we can't be trusted. I can't even trust myself. Just a few hours ago, I was slaughtering this girl's congregation and was about to sacrifice her to Baphomet. But I believe in you. You do want to change, don't you? Thank you. We will try. Of course, after everything we've done, we can't remain knights of the order we betrayed. We will lay down our weapons and do the job you send us to do. Deal. You'll see. They won't do anything bad. Shall we go? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure they won't ever do anything bad again. Mm -hmm. That's not going to come back and bite us in the ass. from me Thaskarod has issued a new mission for our squad our orders are to disguise ourselves as locals search the mortal settlements and find the elven child named Ember where brothers that girl possesses a dangerous power that can cast out despair her so-called preachings, which are nothing but worthless backstreet blabbering, have already foiled a number of our plans and brought a number of soon-to-be cultists back to the Crusader army. So much wasted effort. Find and sacrifice her to our lord, Baphomet, without delay, or else Thaskarod will slow cook, slow cook our back blackened souls and devour them one by one. El Baphomet. Now, what's scary is that she's drawing so much attention from demon lords. Blazing crown. Okay. Take that bed. Let's see what we can do. I'll be safe after that fight, huh? She's actively praying to, <laughs> to them, asking to repent. Just like God's demon lords, ca demon lords cannot avoid hearing the prayers of their followers, even if that follower asks them to repent. 
But she's not a follower, though. She's not a follower of anyone. Except me. Uh, that little voice in the back of your head telling you to do something bad that you shouldn't. So you're saying she's just as bad as the demons. That she should be put down as such. Kidding, of course. Is that a trap? No, that's Treasure Co. Jeez. I can handle it. I, I would think you would know the difference, Co. Between treasure and traps. So we might have to respec land yet again. Need to make sure we have everything, all our bases covered on our skills. Can't make the demons wait. I think that's everything. Can't get up there. Nothing down here. But yeah, it's everything. Let's go here, I think. Did I win yet? I did. I did win. What am what I winning? gotten to Dresden. I'm I'm not that far ahead of you, honestly. A group of young Chalaxian nobles have arrived in the world womb to hunt demons. They're willing to pay a generous sum if the Crusaders provide them with this entertainment. Hmm. Unlocks dangerous hunt decree. Hmm. Let them get killed and take their belongings. Infernal Calvary. Hmm. <clears throat> you have a habit of bouncing between playthroughs? Yeah. I mean, I haven't played this playthrough in like a week. Because I've been... I went out of town last weekend, so I, I didn't I stream Friday through Sunday. Then Monday we started the competition and got eliminated last night. So now we're back to this one. Arrange the hunt or convince them to become crusaders. Yeah. Three K finance. I'm not too worried about. Okay. 
You have shit fight hits. I mean... Oh, can we recruit more? Nice. Not a, too much of a fan of these guys. Oh. No, it's screw it. We're getting a new general. with master maneuver and scorching ray yes yes <laughs> wait oh we didn't have the resources whoops there we go cost twelve thousand yikes all right, maybe uh, I do care about resources a little bit. Though for a fact, she's good. I was using her in my uh, Aslanti playthrough. Nah, I'm going... I want a mage. And after seeing that one general, yep, right there. I want him. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Raiders. Wow. 28 to 30 damage on bandits. Wow. Well, he starts with Master Maneuver 1 and Scorching Ray. So every turn, he can... Basically, he has his own turn to attack. And he can Scorching Ray for as long as he has energy to do so. And I think I have a, a army feat that grants every general ma master of maneuver two or an extra master of maneuver. So he can start off with a large army. Yep. take you guys out bring the paladins in hmm
know what. Get you to the main army. You can go home. outside. I need to reorganize my army and Entirely, so They hardly have anything and they're already a rank five army. So they're at six. Fox is at six. Main army is at seven. Okay, so let's rest. need to get brew potions on my guy.
need to get the higher scriber kits. Could do that for Darren. Oh, we got to have Regil for this part. means we don't have a weapon for him we don't have a gnome hook uh, gnome hook hook hammer yeah we'll make two with just one with just one quest maybe Must hurry and remain very, very alert. Tell me about your outpost. This outpost is situated on top of a hill. The main building has stout walls and small windows. It serves as a resting area for various Hell Knight orders. Apart from my own troops, there are currently three chapters quartered here, as well as the permanent garrison. We've stocked up on food and water. The gargoyles have taught us a valuable lesson. And now we're prepared for an aerial attack. What could have happened to the missing squad? They were last seen in this very place. We must comb the area. All right, let's hurry. Right on, Luna. Have a good one. Ah, poop monster. Ugh. Everything's out of order now. Let's cackle. There's the main ones we gotta worry about. Yeah. They're asleep. So everyone can move up. Oh, asleep, huh? You don't want to sleep to kill you. Machine gun land. Hell Knights have thoroughly restored and reinforced these fortifications, which date back to the age of the First Crusades. Have a good one, Luna. We will likely still be here when you're done. <laughs> More poop monsters. Good guys always win. Retreat is not an option. Kneel before me. Kneel before Zod. Not a really good hat for my main character, but I made her chaotic good, and you can't be good for it. Well, give it to give it to an evil character. They'll find use I for it. See to your demise. Or change alignments. Uh. 
Yep. Your choices can shift your alignments, or you can just respec and change it from the beginning. Make every strike count. I got this. Like in my Aslanti playthrough, I started off as lawful evil, and I like I started off like right here, lawful evil. And by the time I was eliminated, I was like over here in neutral, almost chaotic good. But your choices will can, can and will shift your alignments. That's too many spells, my man. Precision and grace. Into the fray. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Pale youngster practically prostrates himself before you. Finally, someone's here. And it's the Crusaders, too. Please help me. I'm all alone and I don't know what to do. This lad's appearance perfectly matches the description of one of the cultists who were supposed to arrive with the last escort, with the lost escort. Cultist? Me? No. I'm just an apprentice cra craftsman. They made us work against their will there. Seems like the cult is either uh, start from the beginning. As you come in, it's true. I worked in the, that workshop for you know the Baphomet folks. But I didn't do anything wrong. They dragged us there and threw us in the basement. They made us work, fed us little, but also beat us sometimes. And then these folks in black armor, tur armor turned up, killed the guards, and tied us up, brought us here, and left us. Please help me. I'm afraid to cross the world wound by myself. What happened to the black armored knights who captured you? I'm telling you, they left us here. They brought us all here, brought us all the way here, tied us up, and then left us to die. And they laughed about it, too. Farewell, you cultist bastards. Either demons will eat you up, or you'll die of hunger soon enough. And they said that and left. There, towards that hill. I was the only one to escape. I untied myself and tried to hide. What did they have you doing in that workshop? All sorts of things. They made armor and stuff like holy symbols. They also made clothes and painted shields. They usually gave us an example. Say, a shield and armor from the order of such and such, and we'd copy it. In other words, they were preparing disguises so that the spies of the Ivory, Ivory Labyrinth Templars could move unseen in Crusader camps. Where are the other captives? There's no one else. The demon showed up and killed everyone. I was the only one who got away. Regil, does this make any sense to you? As far as I can see, he's an accomplice of the cultists and an accessory to their crimes. He must be interrogated harshly, tortured if necessary, and then executed if it turns out he knows nothing. <laughs> Seems like he, he's either lying or keeping something from us, or even worse. The lad recoils and then surprisingly, deftly, jumps away from you. We are the light. They are the darkness. The fowler of virtues. Well, I'm the fowler of HP, so you got nothing on me. Yep, machine gun Lan. He's an absolute monster. And not because he's half lizard.
Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of spells that came that you're dealing with and organizing. I don't think I even used the key key point to give him an extra attack there either. One less demon. Splendid. Perhaps all the cap captured cultists were possessed by demons, and they assaulted the knights when they thought the moment was right. A reasonable assumption. Let's see what we're able to find out. I must commend your shrewdness. You would have had it rough have, had you hadn't unmasked the demon. You must verify the claim that the knights return to the outpost. Move out. I'll move out when I'm good and ready, Regal. Beautiful. Rajul needs to remember who's in charge here. Quick save it. Yeah, I use Ember for CC. The sleeps are amazing. Helna Outpost is shrouded in silence. The three chapters seem to have simply vanished, leaving only the pillars of smoke from their fires to testify to the recent presence of the living. That doesn't seem to unnerve Regal in the slightest. He disappointedly scans an empty camp as if waiting for something. <laughs> Breaking the prevailing silence, a sudden musical laugh sounds harsh and almost sinister. Night Commander. At last, I've been dying to meet you. Come on, come on, don't be so sullen. Come on over and have a little rest after your journey. You can always stab me or hit me with a spell a bit later. You feel like doing all that, of course. You know what I see? A trap. And it's bait. What an arrogant, talkative demon we've got here. I can see you've made yourself quite a, at home in our camp. What have we here? One of those black armored blockheads? Why don't you join me and the commander for a little meal? Surely the mighty Hell Knight isn't scared of a little temptation. Federal <laughs> subtly, subtly frowns. Surprisingly, he then steps forward without hesitation and sits next to the demon. Let's talk. Regil, don't you think we should refuse this demon's request? Sometimes it's useful to know you're in. Why is the camp deserted? Coranda. My name is Coranda. As for the camp's inhabitants, well, that's a long story. Please sit, Commander. We have a lot to discuss. Very well. You have no, e no idea how eager I was to meet you, and how quickly I got here when I discovered you were coming. Do you feel at ease talking to, with, to me in this shape? Because I can always slip into something more comfortable. With a snap of her fingers, Coranda becomes a golden-haired, bright-eyed young man dressed in the white of a Serenrayan cleric. I could look like this. So likable. Trustworthy. I prefer, this is my favorite form. It has driven me so many crusaders out of their minds. The demon's playful pose oddly clashes with the strict, upright appearance of Queen Golfrey. Very charming. Now stop this farce, demon. 
Poster night. Do tell me, aren't you bored with yourself? Every soul must feel something to get their blood pumping. Some are driven by avarice, others by lust, others still by envy. And if you think you've managed to shield yourself from every nice, every vice and every flaw, well, that just means you're blind. And your vice is the greatest of them all, pride. You said you knew I was coming. How? How did I know? Ah, we all have our sources. Perhaps I'll tell you about them, Commander, if we establish a certain friendship. I don't think it was Tristan. Tristan wasn't a cleric. Also, he was a priest. Don't be so uptight, Regil. Loosen up. This lovely lady is simply trying to entertain us. A good hostess doesn't let her guest allow her guest to get bored, even if some of them are hell knights. But now, on to business. I have a rather unusual request. I'd like to become a crusader. And before a thousand and one objections escape your mouth, think about this. Your fame precedes you by some by quite some distance. They speak to speak of you even down in the abyss. We have never encountered anyone possessing such power. That's so exciting. I even heard that part about your tr that that a part of your power trickles down to your most loyal companions. So why would a clever lady, lady like me keep serving demon lords when instead there's someone so unusual and, and intriguing? I can't promise you I'm going to kneel before that Ioma day of yours right away. But I have many, many interesting stories to tell about my friends from the abyss. Of course, I can also be of personal use to you. Any shape you desire, remember? I'm not even sure which of your suggestions was more revolting, demon. Your effortless betrayal of your kin or your filthy insinuations. Oh, do smile a little, Hell Knight. This isn't hell yet. Chaotic, wink at the demon. What else can this tale of yours do? Something tells me you're quite handy with yours too. Shall we put my th theory to test then? Sure, why not? Where can we discuss the details of our cooperation? I know a private place. Should have listened to your tiresome hell knight instead of my tall tales, Commander. We'll kill you before your friends get around to rescuing you. Here comes trouble. <laughs> yep, you probably will. Damn you. Yeah, that huntress is going to be the death of me. Calling that right now. Let's see if we can do something about that. Probably not. Are you still here? Jesus. No. Nope. XP, no right? Option. Angler of Vices.
Yep, definitely going to be in interesting. Interesting indeed. Good guys always win. Why didn't you range till that? You won't survive me. Kneel before God. I got this. The end. The light take you. Turn that off because I suspect Land's going to kill this thing on his next turn. Well, at least we know not to fall for her tricks. Still gonna have to fight them, but at least we're doing it on our own terms this time.
Travisi. Mimosi Travisi. Mimosi Travisi. We'll make things right. So many freaking spells. I, I need. I, yeah, I need more action bars. And don't we have cure serious? Or did we not take that? Looks like we didn't take that. Okay. Okay. And we don't need that. Notice anyone Your doing orders, fears? Commander. Always be ready for the worst. Should I? Hmm. At Commander, you have rallied to our defense. We were forced to retreat under the onslaught of the demon Karanda and our lackeys. We held position for as long as we could, but we were sure to perish without outside help. Many of us are injured. Would you assist us? We hid the wounded in the back of the outpost so the demons couldn't reach them as easily. I was told there were three chapters quartered here, You're not, yet your numbers are sparse. Where are the others? Unfortunately, they retreated prior to the attack. Had we stood at full strength, we wouldn't have let let them trap us here. Or they were forging counterfeit armor. Indeed. We've confiscated a large supply of such equipment, including some peculiar pieces like the armor of the Eagle's Watch. Just recently exposed and killed a demon who possessed them. How do I make sure none of you are afflicted the same way? You can use defensive spells to make sure. Those possessed by demons cannot cross magic circles against evil, for example. Your story has too many inconsistencies. I was hoping you'd see through their ruse. I'm not disappointed. I expected more from you, demon. Your cleverness won't save you. Shadow Demon.
got this. Wow. You've crossed the wrong mob. One doing the most damage is Gremlin. is dead she used insanity on me and I used it to kill her the light. Take you. To the fray! Retreat 
is not an option. What happened with the organ eating lady? Wait, what? We're getting an eating lady. Kneel before me. <laughs> I'm not sure who you're referring to. Mella. Well, yeah, she's a part of our party. Uh, we didn't banish or kill her for what she was doing, but we forbade her from doing it any longer, which she seemed okay with. I think we got this. Survive me. Where did he shoot a charge up like that? Let me ransom my life, Crusader. I have loot, much loot, that I picked off the fallen. Surely it's worth the price of letting one poor soul slink back to the abyss. Uh, no, no romance that you missed. Although we did sleep with the uh, Kamala. The demon grabs the throat of a kneeling cultist with his claws. Are you as deaf to compassion as you are to avarice? Have mercy on this mortal I used as a vessel. You lay a hand on me, he's dead. Oh, 
Why would I care about the life of a cultist? Die. Demon's death rattle reverberates off the walls. In his dying agony, he squeezes the kneeling cultist's neck with his claws, practically tearing the man's throat out. What about the surviving cultist? Should we interrogate them? They won't tell us anything we don't already know. Deal with them as you see fit. If you don't want to waste your time, the orders. The orders will take care of them later. We vanquished the demons, but we still don't know where the knights from the camp are. Take a look around if you think it best. Then we must leave. It's time. My character just killed Let's Ember. Get to the exciting part. What the hell, dude? Insanity? Greater restoration or heal. Okay. What's going on here? You just killed Ember. That's what's going Stick on. The pleasantries. Breath of Life probably isn't going to work there. Damn it. Worth a shot. This thing yeah. refuses to cooperate. We don't have a raised dead scroll. Son of a bitch. Sorry, Ember. Help where I can. I think he has the ability to turn, remove fatigue. Oh, staggered, nauseated, or sickened. <clears throat> This one. Sunstroke. Radiant and cold iron. All 
it. Guess that's it. Are you still here? <laughs> Did you see that? Battle hey! formation. We are super heavy right now, though, I think. Oh, medium. Just, she moves super slow. The hell? Last. How did it go? Paralytic deranged. Exactly as it should have. What details rent? Roger's signifiers. After all, the order takes such pride in them. Explain yourself, Regil. Of course. Everything that happened was, in a way, a show. We d received reports about the location of several particularly cunning demons. Not the fighting kind, but those who specialized in deceit and temptation. We could have surrounded the surrounded and destroyed their hideout, but instead, we let them know that the Knight Commander of Dresden would soon arrive in our deserted camp. The fiends swallowed it hook, line, and sinker. How could any of them miss an opportunity to prove themselves by killing the new leader, leader of the crusade? Demons love talking about the, pri of the pride of mortals. But in fact, they suffer from that vice far more than anyone else. Now for the critical bit, my reasons. Even though the Order knew a lot about the commander's behavior, that information lacked veracity and consistency. For instance, it's always useful to know just how well your principal ally is able to resi resist deceit and temptation. And so I suggested they meet with Karanda and her cohorts. 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 So you were testing me. Yes, I was. Someone had to, seeing that Her Majesty Galfrey of Mendev is so prone to bestowing titles and armies without a second thought. And yet, you can't claim that I was insincere. I made myself crystal clear when I stated my interest in your person and your unusual powers back when we first met. I also mentioned how important you are for the crusade and our, share, and our shared cause. We are at the vanguard of what is possibly the most important war of our age. No one can afford the privilege of blind trust with these stakes. There are flaws in the way you approach problems, but nothing that can't be corrected. A new leader can be forgiven for some shortcomings. I hope you outgrow them quickly. On the one hand, your sense of humor pr provokes questions. Then again, it's an acceptable vice, a minor one. Did it cross your mind that I could die during this test of yours? Of course it did. Our main force was, in position, was positioned nearby, and they were ready to advance the first sign of real trouble was not going to deprive the crusaders of their commander and show so chaos among their already sorely undisciplined ranks. We can still work together, Regil, but don't you dare lie to me or test me like, like, like that ever again. Your demand is unreasonable. I understand that my actions can be seen as disrespectful or whimsical. But they were neither. Now that we've discussed everything, there's still a small matter to attend to. Attend to. Yaker, two steps forward. I hear and obey, Paralictor Derringe. You must speak about your role in recent re events. 
who received my order to visit the Night Commander in Dresden and feed him misleading information. How sh should a Hell Knight behave in this situation? A he Hell Knight must obey his commander's orders. His commander's orders are directly directly contradict the tenets of the measure and the chain or go against the order's interest, then the knight must report to it, report his commander to the higher order of command. What did you do? Did you report me? No, sir. With your permission, sir. I deduced what was, that it was some kind of test for the knight commander. It didn't seem right to me, but you don't have my permission to blabber excuses, knight. You gave him an order, and now you want to punish him for following it? Well, if the commander deems my verdict faulty, then we shall postpone this review of your actions. Dismissed. That is all. Thank you for your visit, commander. What a dick. Is there anyone in there? Here we go again. Oh, no point being here. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. <clears throat> Lost a lot of respect for uh, Regil on this this mission. wish, my Arbingers will show you a list of goods we offer. It includes both spoils of war and the items produced by your Iron Order's craftsmen. How long have you known Regil? I've known him from even before the World Wound and the Crusades. Regil is one of those gnomes who take forever to succumb to the bleaching. He was different once. He was bright. He was an Arbinger of the Order of the Scourge. Then he transferred to the God Claw. Soared through the ranks and started losing color. Can't be sure which of these three facts is the cause and which is the effect. Let's see what they have to sell. Increased mobility checks. Just me.
pretty nice hammer. Better critical range, better mul multiplier. A lot of money, though. I don't have that much. Which mask? This one? Or mine? Oh, the Stormtrooper helmet? It's not a Stormtrooper helmet. It's a Doom helmet. Helmet of the Abyss Killer. According to legend, this helmet belonged to a mighty warrior who was doomed to his endlessly slay hordes of demons. It doesn't seem to have any magic, but it looks formidable. Formidable. There we go. No, it's the Doom Guy helmet. It's not a stormtrooper at all. It's the Doom helmet. Yes. Thank you for the follow. Well, that is seriously that is amazing. <laughs> yeah, thoroughly enjoyed finding that one. I don't remember where I found it, but Grand Owl of Wisdom. Permanent plus one bonus at all skill checks, and then it vanishes. Wow. Okay. I haven't played Kingmaker, but I'm interested in playing this one. Uh, you don't have to play them like back to back. Like the stories are completely separate on their own, but there are some interwoven themes. Like, the, of course, the lores, the like the gods and the backstory of how the world is the way it is. But they play very similar, like Ivy's saying. Um, the, and they're both very long. <laughs> I do recommend playing both. But you don't necessarily have to play them uh, in any certain order. 
All right, let's get you out. Get back in. You gotta go back to town anyway. Res Ember. Like my playthrough of Kingmaker was about 220 hours. That's one playthrough. <laughs> 